Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 16. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. I think I was called player as well in. Um, my PSP walked through when I played it. So, uh, we're just player. I'm a player. Right, uh, next up is gonna be Club Stripe. And then Club Muscle Car, which is right next to each other. Uh, I feel like we should go Club Muscle first. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, we're on our way to the Muscle Car Club. Where only the most powerful of vehicles can compete. I do like a good muscle car. Um, sort of, the criteria for a muscle car is very vague. Um, I would say muscle cars are just cars that are powerful, but not fast. They're built for power and pulling power alone, but not to be Bugatti Veyron speeds. Um, that's sort of my personal definition of a muscle car. If anyone, like, else has an opinion or a uh, definition, let me know. I'm always oh shit. <laughs> I'm always uh, loving to listen to what you guys say, what you guys think. Um, that's sort of what communities are about, anyway. But yeah, that's sort of my opinion on what makes a muscle car. And I I would say like BMW, the M5, is sort of like nearly a muscle car in terms of like its weight, its performance. It's just German. It's like a German muscle car. But um. Yeah, the, BMW, the difference is the BMW is sort of more built towards speed, which is why I say it's not classed as a muscle car. Um, but yeah, ran over. We have some very easy opponents here. Uh, GT500, Stingrays, Pointy Axe. These are all E-Class vehicles, so uh, we can't use it. Never mind. What are the allowed cars then? Okay, so we can use... The Daytona Coupe. Okay, do we have a Daytona Coupe? No, we don't. Let's use it then. Why not? Let's start with a new car. I thought this was classed as a muscle car, but apparently not. Which isn't a problem for me. Uh, I know this Daytona Coupe has a stripe as well, I think. Yes, it does. Of course it does. Look at that. I do remember driving this car as well. First gear is the longest gear you will ever see, and then after that, it's fair game. Oh, shy! This is quite a uh, big thing to wrestle. You can definitely feel the weight of the car. I may have to go upgrade it because uh, that will take away a bit of the weight. Make it a little bit more controllable. But yeah, it does look like this has to be the car that we use. I think the only one I'm worried about is the AC. But uh, I feel like our car even then is much much faster than an AC Cobra. Right. It's not even a Cobra, it's just an AC. Turn left. Awesome. Finish first place. Right, we'll take that 3,000 credits. Thank you very much. While well, the game does its uh, audio glitch. Right, and next up is a Pointiac Firebird. I know we can easily destroy that with this. Against GG Deluxe. Test Drive was the original creator of the GG. Here we go, though. Listen to that engine. Let's get that slipstream. 
Oh, come on! No! Cheeky corner cut. Come on. You can't be beaten by a pointy act. We're a Fort Daytona. This thing is much more difficult uh, to weave in and out between traffic, especially when it tries to turn into your lane. Why is everyone turning into my lane? It's ridiculous. I really hope that AC is not going to be this difficult. I still can't believe they just said, nope, you can't come. I was clearly in a Ford muscle car. The Ford GT doesn't even class as a muscle car, apparently. That's BS. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. There we go. Cross the line. Finish first place. Um, but also... That Shelby should be available in the striped race. If it's not, I'll be pissed. Uh, but let's go against the Shelby GT500 now. This is now getting into a very high performance category. Um, actually, no, this is the E Class Shelby, not the. They didn't have the Shelby Mustang from the uh, 2008, did they? No, wouldn't have. And off we go. Oh! Big contact there. Someone's not happy. Proven wrong then. Show them that this Daytona is better than the Shelby. I think this is a Shelby Daytona as well, to be honest. Carol Shelby did some amazing work to uh, Fords, especially. But he did some amazing work to other cars, especially ACs and that. Just gotta try not to crash, otherwise, uh, that thing's gonna catch up. Unbelievable. Done it again. We're going down the same section of track. Oh, come on. That was wide. How do people drive these things in real life? Genuinely. I am confused. Because this drives like a tank. Like, a tank is more controllable than this. They should have put tanks in the game. And look, we're at 150 miles an hour by the time we get to fourth gear. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. The only other car that I know of that can do that is a Ford GT. And they do that just to be realistic to the original Ford from the 1960s Le Mans. There we go, though. 4,250 credits. I think the uh, new Ford GT, they uh, completely scrapped that. Um sort of gear ratio thing. There we go. Right, next up is a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray 69. Haha. -ha. Let's do this. Okay, awesome. Go, go, go. Oh, and the Corvette's gotten a better start than us. But we have a six mile journey now, so we have plenty of time to overtake. 
What are you doing, Kerry? Drive. I'm going to uh, drive on the sidewalk here. That way I've got myself a safety zone. If there was pedestrians in this game, which there isn't, which is good, I would have run over so many people. Imagine GTA, but the cars actually go the speeds they're supposed to. Like, running over a pedestrian would be a nightmare. It'd be like, boo, they're gone. Sidewalk time. I don't know. Are these sidewalks now all hard shoulders? What are they classed as? Because they're classed as something. Obviously, we don't call them sidewalks in the UK. We call them pavements. Paths. Because it's the path that we go. Not getting into a uh, accent culture debate. Not today. Oh, the power though. I will say though, I really want to drive an American muscle car. I want to drive a Japanese drift car, an American muscle, and a Formula One car. That's the three things I really want to drive and enjoy. And a Bugatti Veyron. Four. Not, not a Chiron, a Veyron. Because that was the childhood dream car. It was a Veyron. Come on. We're on Sand Island, but we've got water. Yeah, it makes no sense. Sorry, Chief. Not cutting it. There we go. This is looking okay so far. Again, the AC is the problem. Not the problem, but like the one I'm worried about. But uh, based on the fact that we are so far ahead of the Corvette, I've got my hopes up a little bit. I'm not as worried. Holy shit! Did you see that off-road penalty there? Ah, oh, poor guy's house. I don't know. But that off-road penalty, I went off the road on the other side. I was like, quick, get back on! 7,000 credits, though. Imagine if I did get that penalty right at the end. I would have been gutted. Absolutely gutted. Okay, so next up is the Pointiac GTO. We're going to be having a go with that. Go against that car. Here we go. That is a pointy act GTO. That's a, the most modern muscle car in this game, I think. Uh, except for the Mustang GT. But what are you doing? That is diabolical. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was instantly crashing me off the road. I'm not even bothering to try and regain that because it won't happen. I'm going to try and crash her off into the road. Is it weird that all of them... <laughs> yeah, stop it. You crap. Oh, my days. What have you done? Getting away slowly, she is. Perfect. Let's get that distance that Emma stole from us. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Slow down big time here. 
We got a much better corner than she did through there. Thanks to the uh, sidewalk. I'm loving these uh, little half an hour videos as well. Makes it easier for me to edit. Um, and yeah. The fact is you can watch these videos whenever you want. That's how I'm sort of structuring them. It's not a... Because it's not a story game. It's just doing races. You can watch whenever you want. Obviously the earlier you watch the series. It's going to have lower level cars. Later you watch higher level cars. But it's still the same principles are there. You're just going to watch, enjoy the race. You don't need to go from the very beginning. You can watch anywhere with these kind of series. The only series that you need... And I got the advice that you need to put in your title. Um, the mission that you're doing. But when games don't have missions, or games are just racing games, and there is no story to them, you don't need to put the name in of the mission. Just play the game. Watch it if you want to watch Test Drive. If you don't want to watch Test Drive, don't watch it. It's fine. If you want to watch it to enjoy me as a person, watch it. But that's how my sort of channel is. Obviously, the ones where they've been missions and they've sort of been story-based, I've sort of put the titles in. And uh, Gran Turismo 6, I've done that. Obviously, the first episode of Gran Turismo 6 came out when this series started. Uh, so, I'm, it hasn't quite come out yet. But I am excited for Gran Turismo 6. Oh, my God. really am. There we go, though. Cross the line. Ta-da! That was a very good race. Okay, that's given me a little more hope for uh, being able to beat the AC. Um, but the AC again is... Wow. Quite a lot higher. In fact, I think I have the AC. Um... Okay, so ours is a little bit heavier. We've got less power. We've got better 0 to 60 and better top speed. Okay, let's just do it then. That is a very interesting uh, choice, option, whatever you want to call it. Very interesting. Let's go. Oh, we got a corner right away. Shit. Right, we have got a 5.9 mile journey. Not a problem for us. Okay, they are getting away. Big time. They're hitting their VMAX though. Come on. No! Come on, AI. Give me a break. Ah, they've gotten away. Gotten away big time. But we should hopefully have a little more chance through acceleration than that. That was definitely an assistance. Look how much we've caught up. Look at that. Please crash into those traffic cars. I can see you so close to them. Okay, we have caught up. We have caught up. Go, 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 go. Like me shouting go, 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 go many times is going to actually uh, oh improve my speed. Definitely going to uh, improve my style point. Get me some more of them. Now, whether it's going to get me speed points, I don't know. Bastien's gone off of the track, though. Gone off the road. Oh, 
Awesome. All right, slow down, slow down. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna beat the AC. Let's go, let's go. This is what the Daytona is all about. Just beating cars. Come on, we can do it. Oh no, make contact. Lost a lot of speed. The AC caught up a little bit, but not enough. Okay, we're going on this side of the road. It was much easier actually swapping the sides. Okay, we're going that way, that way, through there. That was a perfect path. So we'll have to uh, predict the flow of the traffic as well. If you can't predict the flow of traffic, you're never going to be able to drive in these open world games. Because you need to see where the cars are going to go with their speed to know where you're going to go. Okay, and last time we came around this section, we actually went wide and then went off the track there and nearly lost. So, but here we go. Ta-da! Congratulations, your next vehicle upgrade is free. Ta-da! That is awesome. 852,000 credits so far now. And we're going to drive straight to the next... Next club. There we go, though. We are the president. Ta-da. So we're going to go to the next club, which is going to be... The right, Striped right. Cars Club. Uh, hopefully we'll have... A chance with this one. Um, and it's not going to be too difficult. Um, and I'm also going to be taking the other Daytona. Not Daytona Shelby. Your That's the word. Is being uh, the club is just around the corner from us, so it's not too far. Turn right. That is a good corner. This will be the third club of today's recording session. We've been going crazy with the clubs. Right, here we go. Slow down. We've got another we club. Ta-da. This is a fancy club. Got a tennis court by the looks of it. You guys play tennis as well. Fancy buggers. Right, so... Oh. Now that's decent. Because the lowest car... The, the second highest car is the car that we're actually in at the moment. And the highest car is the same as our car that we're going to use. So, uh, problem solved. I can't tell if that's striped or stripped. I'm guessing it is striped and every car's going to have a stripe. But first off is the Chevrolet Camaro Z28. I think this was before the Camaro SS came out. Because um, I know the Camaro SS was out when TDU2 came out. And that was sort of like the big car that everyone seemed to use in their playthroughs was the Camaro SS. It really was a big part of everyone's test driver limited 2 walkthroughs. I hope it makes a return in TDU Solo Crown. There's a lot of cars that need to be in Solo Crown. Classic cars, muscle cars. Um, completely forgotten. <laughs> Supercars, sports cars, convertibles, coupes, lightweights, British, Japanese, drift cars. Drifting would be a nice thing to see. Actually, no, it wouldn't. I'm shit at drifting. It, it would be an interesting thing to add for people who like drifting. But uh, it would ruin my playthrough, probably. Just because I'm personally bad at it. But that doesn't mean it can't be put in. That just means I wouldn't like it myself. Uh, but I know other people would like it. So that's something I, I would want to see. Because it just adds... It would definitely add more culture to the game as well. Being able to see like people drift. And um, there have been rumours it's like somewhere in Brazil or something, they said. Um, I don't believe that because Brazil's quite a massive country. And they can't do a one-to-one -one scale of that map. But it is a possibility that it being 
a sort of South African place. Not South Africa. South America. That was the word I was looking for. I'm shit with my geography, alright? <laughs> but a place like that would be decent. It would be decent to see that. See some nice drift roads, normal roads, highways, mix of everything. Based on the fact that they have to go bigger and better every time. So that means they have to have a bigger map to like, you know, seem relevant. Um, they're going to have to put a lot of effort in uh, to make that map bigger. But they have so much potential and so much space to work with. They really do. Oh, careful. Watch it. Alright, we got one more corner. Where is it? Here it is. Nope, not ideal. I can see the finish line. Come on, let's do it. Let's get there. Meow. Awesome. Franco Slinger Sparrow. Okay, first place. I keep pressing the buttons and checking my audio levels. Um, just to make sure I'm recording at the right audio. Because I'm getting paranoid now. That I'm messing it up. Um, but next up is Korg with the Shelby GC500. Let's go. The reason why I'm getting paranoid is because this game I can't go back on. Because the club, the format of it, you can't go back and redo it. Once it's done, it's done. You can go back and redo a race, that's not a problem. Though it's also a nightmare to go back and do a race. I always have my um, volume on 80%. Because if it's on 100, it's always ear rate. And the jump for my capture card between 80 and 100 is like double volume. Every time, even like a quiet, quiet, like that, is ear rate. I have to literally whisper for it to be under the maximum volume. Whereas this, on 80%, I can be loud and be clear with my words as well. Because when I'm louder, I'm clearer. Much more clearer. I was doing hand gestures to that and uh, it didn't work. But when I'm louder, I'm clearer. I make more sense. And that way, it's a higher quality video. A little bit better. I know saying higher quality on a game that literally runs at 480p is a bit questionable, but bear with me. There we go. Finish first. One minute for that. It's really good. What's the time? Gosh, it's getting late. 20 to 2 at night. Not like in in the afternoon. Not in the morning. <laughs> Next up, Dodge Viber SRT 10. This is a very nice car, the SLT. A very nice car. Technically, any car is a striped car, when you think about it. Right, you know what, we're doing it. Over onto the other side. The one thing I would love to see is clubs though, like this kind of format, but slightly longer. So instead of going against six cars, you start in 11. There are 10 members in each club. And you have to get up to the top of the leaderboard. And so that is, crap, that is 10 races that you have to do. Oh no. Where's it sending me? That's not ideal. Um, but yeah, that is 10 races you have to do to prove that you are the best. At the next intersection, turn left. 
Oh! It sent him that way. I've just done a shortcut. A big shortcut. At the next hey! Turn right. Turn right. Oh, no. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, that's the uh, camera button. Don't want to be pressing that. I can't drive interior in this. The interior is a little bit of an awkward viewing angle. Um, I want to see more of the road and less of like what's in front of me. That's not what I want to see. Nice. Ah, nope. I worry that if I crash into cars head on, it's going to like pinball my car off road. Because it does do that. It does do that. And it can do that. And it has done that. That is how you weave in between traffic. We've done 62 miles today in this car. Quite a long way, actually. We've got much more distance to cover with it as well. We're going to be driving this thing for ages. Not quite like the Aston Martin, though, doing that massive championship. That championship spread across three videos, by the way. That huge one. That was ridiculous. Three videos. Right. 4,250. I think the first race was in one. Like, episode 9 or 10. And then there was three races in just an episode. And then the final one was at the start of the last episode. So, or one of the episodes. I don't know. It was crazy. Uh, next up is the AC2427, uh, David Paul. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.